Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to configure VLANs in Hyper-V. This video demonstrate how to configure VLANs in Hyper-V, outlining the process for setting up VLANs on virtual switches and virtual machines to improve network isolation, security and management flexibility. In Hyper-V, VLANs are used to create multiple logical networks within a single physical network, allowing for network isolation and enhanced management flexibility. Hyper-V's VLAN feature let you assign VLAN IDs to VMs, allowing them to communicate with other devices within the same VLAN while keeping them isolated from devices in different VLANs. This configuration enhances network security and manageability by ensuring that virtual machines function independently on the same physical network without interfering with one another. Hyper-V virtual switches are virtual network switches that connect VMs to the physical network and allow communication between virtual machines within a Hyper-V. They manage network communication between VMs and manage their connectivity to external networks. Configuring VLANs on virtual switches allows you to assign VLAN identification and isolation to virtual machines, ensuring proper network traffic isolation and management within the virtual environment. First, let me show you the existing setup that we will be using for this demo. In the Hyper-V Manager, click on the Virtual Switch Manager option. On this Hyper-V server, we have created an internal virtual switch named Internal V Switch 01. Click OK. Open Run menu, type ansipia.cpl and press Enter key to open network connections. This is the network adapter for our internal virtual switch which will facilitate communication through the internal virtual switch. I have assigned the static IP address 192.168.1.25 to this virtual adapter. Click on Close and click on Close again. Let me close network connections window. Now go back to Hyper-V Manager. Right-click on the Win11 VM01 virtual machine and select the settings. Click on Network Adapter. Under Virtual Switch, ensure that the internal virtual switch is selected. This will enable the VM to communicate with the host machine. Click OK. Right-click on the Win11 VM01 and select Connect. We have assigned the static IP address 192.168.1.11 to this VM. Let's verify that. Open Run menu, type CMD and hit Enter key. Type Command IPconfig and press Enter key. Verify the assigned static IP address. Now let's check the network connectivity with the host machine. Type the command ping 192.168.1.25 and press Enter. We have confirmed the network connectivity between the host machine and the guest VM. We'll be using this lab for this demo. Let me type command exit and press enter. Let's go through the steps on how to set up a Hyper-V VLAN using the Hyper-V Manager. Generally, the process of setting up Hyper-V VLAN requires two steps. First, you need to configure the virtual switch to allow network traffic through the physical switch port. Second, you must configure the VM to use a unique VLAN identifier for future network communication. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. Click on Virtual Switch Manager. From the list, select the switch you want to configure. In our example, we will select our internal virtual switch to set up VLAN ID. Check Enable Virtual LAN Identification for Management Operating System option. Also, you must assign a unique VLAN identifier which will be used for network communications. In this example, I am going to specify VLAN ID 10. When finished, click OK to save your changes. We have assigned VLAN ID 10 to this internal virtual switch. This also means that the host machine's internal virtual switch adapter is configured for VLAN 10. Go back to Win 11 VM01 virtual machine. Once again, check the ping to the host machine by pinging the IP address 192.168.1.25. Open Run menu, type CMD and press Enter. Type the command ping 192.168.1.25 and press enter. This time you won't receive any ping replies as the virtual machine is not in the same VLAN. So we can confirm that VLAN segmentation is working as expected. 
To allow communication with the host machine, we need to configure the Hyper-V Virtual Machine's VLAN ID to 10. The next step is to configure the VM to use VLAN identification. Click on File and select Settings. Ensure that the network adapter is connected to the correct virtual switch. In our example, it is internal vSwitch01. Next, check the Enable Virtual LAN Identification box and assign the same VLAN ID that we used earlier. In our example, the VLAN ID is 10. As a result, all network traffic passing through the network adapter connected to this virtual switch will be tagged with the VLAN ID you just set. In our example, it is VLAN ID 10. Finally, click OK to save the settings. With the VM and virtual switch properly configured, we can now ensure reliable traffic isolation using Hyper-V VLANs. Again, type the command ping 192.168.1.25 and press enter. This time, you will receive ping replies from the host machine as both the VM and host machine are tagged with the same VLAN ID. This means we have successfully configured VLANs in Hyper-V using the Hyper-V manager. That's all for this video on how to configure VLANs in Hyper-V using the Hyper-V manager. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.